the year, the summer of one. The Roman Empire extended as far as Egypt and Greece. The place, Mount Olympus. The event, the first games. This is how it all began. The true challenge of man's athletic abilities. The true test of the motto, to be able to throw further. <laughs> to be able to run faster. <laughs> to be stronger. <laughs> Tim Conway stars as Dirkus Dorf in the first game of Mount Olympus. Also starring Vincent Chiavelli as Leonard. And boom, boom, the goddess of walnuts. Al, it's a beautiful night, isn't it, Leonard? Right. You know, Leonard, I've been uh, thinking. Right. You know, as the emperor of the Rome and the, the Greece uh, and the, the Egypt down there and a lot of other swell places, I got to just about everything I need in the life. Right. But you know something? I don't got the opportunity to run and jump and uh, twist around a lot. Do you notice that? Right. So I've been thinking. Maybe I'm going to start the game. So I have an opportunity to run and jump and twist around the whole bunch. And I'm going to have the guys that come from all over those places and run and jump and twist against each other. Uh -huh. There's going to be exciting races out there, and the crowds are going to be a cheering for these the guys who are running and tossing and jumping and twisting around. Let me hear those cheers, Leonard. <laughs> Maybe you have to be there. <laughs> Not being the head man, huh, Leonard? When you're the head man, you can have a glass of wine and soak your feet in the goat's milk. And when you're not the head man, then you stand there and watch the head man. See that? 
Why don't you call Boom Boom and have her bring in more goat's milk in here for me, please? <laughs> and the head man asks you to call a boom boom. You call a boom boom. You don't. Uh, I could do that. You didn't heat that up too much. Did you? Stop! I told you. Don't heat that goat's milk like that. You have to bring it right from the goat. That's my good wine. Now it's got the feet in it. <laughs> Going to deck that broad one of these days? <laughs> Leonard? I want you to let everybody know that the games are coming. So I want you to take this torch and run over to Roma with it. <clears throat> you mean the Roma Bakery? <laughs> Not at the bakery, the city. <clears throat> That's a long way. That's the idea of being old. You got to show everybody that you got the more strongs than they do. What's the big deal? You take this thing and run over to the bakery, that's no good. You run in there and say, let the games begin and give them a four hard rolls. That's a no big deal. Here, take the thing and run over to Roma and you go in there and you shout to them. Let the games begin. Now head to the road, Toad. What a dip. Lighter shot. Uh. 
fencing. Don't I get any armor? You don't get any armor? I get the armor. That's part of the skill of the fencing. You got to find the soft spot in the guy's armor. Then you strike her with the swiftness of a cat. So go ahead, the Swifty. Start looking for a soft spot. On the guard! I'm going to discuss it. I'm willing. I'm willing to what? To discuss it. Not to discuss. Discuss. I'm going to discuss the plate. Great. What are you going to say about it? Huh? <laughs> I'm not going to say anything about it. I am going to discuss the plate as far as I can. Oh, I got plenty of time. You gonna talk about the pork, too? <laughs> Let's go to talk about the, the pork. I'm going to get the discus, the plate. Stand over here. <laughs> now watch. <laughs> you see that? That's a discus. <laughs> now, when I discus a plate, that's a discus. When I discuss how brainless you are, that's a discuss. You see the difference? <laughs> one you throw, one you talk. Is that so hard to figure out? Is this your dish? Yeah, what's it to you? He just broke my stained glass window. He doesn't want to discuss it. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Leonard... <laughs> you should have thrown the fork. It's soft. <laughs> The pole ball. me to measure how high you went or how deep. Uh, get me a rope, Leonard. Do hurry. The mile relay. Ah, Frank. Bing. Ah. All right, the 
gentlemen, this is the mile relay. This is a baton. Now, the first lap, I run the lap. I hand you the baton, you take and run the second lap. I take the baton, I run the third lap. I give you the baton, you run the fourth lap. Do you think you got that, Leonard? All right. Good. All right? You take the baton, and you run the first lap. I'll wait here for it. Go ahead, Leonard. Javelin. All right, Leonard. I want you to go down there and mark where this javelin lands when I throw it, all right? All right. What's a javelin? <laughs> That's a javelin, all right? You mark where it lands all right. when I throw it. <laughs> Jeez, that got a point on it? Yes, Leonard, that has a point on it. Nothing like your head. Stand down there and mark it when I draw it. Now? Preferably. Right. What do you mean, yet? Oh, looks like about six feet now. How could it be six feet? I threw it out. Is this your stick? Yes, that happens to be my stick. What are you trying to do? Keep it as a souvenir of the very first javelin thrown in international competition, huh? Well, I suggest, sir, that you give it back, most properly, to the outstanding athlete that it belongs to. You broke my stained glass window. That possibly is not my javelin. There's an awful lot of javelins out here today, you know. Wait a minute. Huh? Huh? Yeah. This is his javelin. Leonard, why don't you just stay out of this, all and right? You ought to give it back. Leonard, I don't see any reason right. to get involved in this, I think. <laughs> Boy, 
you don't see people with that kind of honesty very much anymore. I'm a lucky guy. Weightlifting. Boom, boom. You're probably wondering why I came into this uh, hill here in Athens for the weightlifting uh, to lift the weights. I think it's quite obvious, right? <laughs> Perhaps not to you, but I came here because I want to be closer to Zuki, the god of liftums. See, when I go to lift these weights, I just ask Zuki to hand down that uh, lion arm of his and help me lift these stones like they were pebbles. Say that. Huh? You know, speaking of stones, talking to you is like taking a boulder to lunch. <laughs> huh. Just uh, hand me some of that chalk for my hands here so that I can get a better grip here on this... Uh... Uh, boom, boom. This is not the chalk. This is a flower. And when you leave it the flower, out into the rain, you get the dough. Stand over there with me. Ah. Well, I just wanted to get a grip on it. I didn't want to weld myself to this thing. Stand aside, will you? <laughs> All right. Okay, Yuzuki. Help me to lift these stones. Up. Jack, at the boy, Yuzuki. Just a little more and we'll... Let go, Zucky! Boom, boom! Tell the Zucky to let go! Now, Boom Boom, you're going to have a very important role here in the games because you are going to be the official, the starter. And what you're going to do is a drop of that to flag and send those runners on their way, busting out from those starting blocks, every muscle a-churning to beat to that competition. Got that? Because it'll be you who sets the field in the motion. Now, when I say ready, you ju That's a little hurly, boom boom. Remember, don't drop the flag until I say they're ready. <laughs> Hard to get good help. The hurdles. Uh-huh, the hurdles. An opportunity to show you that the speed can overcome the height. <laughs> All right, the boom boom, it starts. Pigeons are my simple minded friends. Those are not the pigeons. Those are doves. Doves bearing the message of a peace. Well, they flew through all the windows that you broke before and they're laying eggs all over my house. Is that the Well, that's a lucky for you, sir, because those are eggs are from the dove of peace. I only wish that I was so blessed. Ah. Leonard! Well, you consider yourself blessed. <laughs> All 
I told him. One dog, he gets a whole squad. <laughs> The Balance Beam. Chisel back there. Don't ever have a chisel throw. I'll get in touch. Stand over there by that rock, huh? All right. Sure, you two will have a lot to talk about. Uh, now, just. lessons in the manly art of self-defense. As a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna knock those ears right off that block head of yours, huh? All right, boom, boom. Hit it. Get out of the ring. All right, Leonard. Hold up your ducks. Come on, come and get it, baby. Come on. 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 Dress. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see that again, Melinda. Huh? <laughs> 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 
I got you now, Linda. You're going down for the big one, baby. Yeah. You take it. Oh, here. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Four. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, Leonard, uh, your sandals on the tide. Oh, really? He went for it. No, it ain't. Come on, no. <laughs> the grand finale, the award. Come on, the Leonard. Metal and I have to have a goon like this delivered. <laughs> oh. You're taking away some of the pageantry. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Come on. Uh, good. Let go, Leonard. Yeah. Leonard, hit the two-hander, Leonard. Leonard, take off the finger. It's not easy being the head man. <laughs> Thank you.